In the previous video, we talked about downloading Mixamer characters and animating in Unity. This video will be on animating your own 3D models, not the Mixamer models. So you may have modeled it yourself, you may have found it from the web. In any case that you have the model, and if you want to animate it, I will explain how in this video. We will grab a 3D model from Sketchfab and upload it to Mixamo, create the animations from there, and finally import the animations in Unity. Sketchfab.com is a marketplace for uploading and downloading 3D models. There are also free products, and we will use one of them in this project. I want to use a simple character, like in the hypercasual mobile games. Ok, search for hypercasual character and we can use this model. Credits to Akram Chichek for making this model free and we can download it with this button. You can use any other Humanate model and if you want to use this model, hit Download 3D Model. Choose FBX version and select the folder you want to download. I will use my desktop. After downloading, unzip the folder and from there we go into Mixamo. In the Characters tab, click on Upload Character. We will upload the FBX file, so let me bring mine and I simply move it here. Mixamo processed the model and in a few seconds it understands that our model is not rigged. In this case, we are able to rig the model with Mixamo's Auto Rigger feature. And it is really easy. So here it says for the best results, make your character T-Pose and rotate it correctly. My model is already in T-Pose and correctly rotated, otherwise you can rotate it from here with the arrow buttons. Click Next and now we have the Auto Rigger tool. Here Mixamo wants to understand the bones and joints of the model. So we should declare the chin, wrists, elbows and so on. You have the reference image on the right and I will just position the joints carefully. Once you are done, click Next and it takes approximately 2 minutes to configure the model. In the review step, be sure that your model moves in the right way. From here you can go back and adjust settings again and when you are happy with the result, click Next. We don't need the previous model anymore, I will say Next again. And here we go, our model is imported into Mixamo, which means now we can use all of the available animations here on our model. Let's see some of them. And now I am just trying different animations, just to be sure that our model is fully rigged. Alright, everything seems great, so we can download a dancing animation maybe. Let's set the format FPX for Unity, and here we should use with skin option, but to show you what is the difference, I will first download without skin. 30 frames and no keyframe reduction. And hit download again. Alright, I created an empty Unity project and let's import our animation here. When I import this, normally on the right, there should be a preview of the model. We cannot see the model there, that's because we only downloaded the animation by choosing without skin. We downloaded the model in the beginning from Sketchfab, but that was not rigged, so you cannot run this animation with it. Ok, also when I insert this to game, again there is no model. So let's extend the object and we should have a model here above the Mixamo rigs. Alright, what we can do is to delete this first and go back to Mixamo. I want to download another animation this time and I search for idle. I will go with breathing idle animation here and click download. This time let's say with skin and download. Ok, go back to Unity and try importing the new animation. Once you import that, you will see the model here, so that's because we said with skin. This is not necessary if you already have a rigged character and the model here and if you want to download only the animation. But if you also want the model, 
you can select with skin option just like this. Okay, nice. We can also see the animation here. And first off, I want to insert it into hierarchy. And with that, let's try to play the game. It is of course not animating right now. We need to adjust a few things first. We did this in the previous video. So let's do that again. Select the animation and in the rig tab here, we can again use humanate avatar. And we want to create it from this model. Hit apply. And you can find the avatar here. If you open it, this is how it looks like. Fortunately, we don't have to make settings here. Okay, go back and in the assets, I want to create a new animator controller. We also talked about this, so let's open it and we will move our animation inside of the controller. If you open this object, this triangle is the animation itself. Drag and drop it here and again it is set to entry state by default. Okay, now we can select our game object and here we already have the animator component. If you don't have this component, click add component and select animator. Then we should assign the animator controller to this field and the avatar to the avatar field. My avatar is already there, so we are good to go. Let's hit play one more time and see if this is working. Good news is that we set up everything correctly. Bad news, it stops. Remember that we should enable loop time to run the animation continuously. I will click play again and here Unity warns me on not applying the settings. That's a nice call, select apply. Okay, so we can now see the animation timeline and it starts over when it finish. Now that we have the rigged model and the running animation, we can import more animations and use on this model. So we can now able to import the dancing animation for example, which was downloaded as without skin. And it will work this time because now we have the model. Here is my dance animation and we can insert it into the animation controller. Right click on idle and create new transition to dancing. Let's play this. Okay, it just didn't work. That's because we should again set the avatar and riggings for this new animation. So select the animation and come to the rig tab. I will select humanoid again and this time we will say copy from the other avatar. Drag our previously generated avatar here and hit apply. Okay, give it a try now. Let's wait for the idle animation ends. And it starts dancing. Perfect. Maybe we can also enable loop time animation for this one. So it will dance forever. Or you can create a new transition to idle animation and now they will play turn by turn. So with that you also learned using multiple animations and combining them. Alright guys, that's how you can make rigging and animating your 3D models using Mixamo and Unity.